Like electronic devices, biological cells send and receive messages, but they communicate through very different mechanisms. Now, scientists report progress on tiny communication networks that overcome this language barrier, allowing electronics to eavesdrop on cells and alter their behavior, and vice versa. These systems could enable applications including a wearable device that could diagnose and treat a bacterial infection or a capsule that could be swallowed to track blood sugar and make insulin when needed. The researchers will present their results today at the American Chemical Society ACS Fall 2020 Virtual Meeting Expo. We want to expand electronic information processing to include biology, says Principal Investigator William E. Bentley, Ph. D. Our goal is to incorporate biological cells in the computational decision-making process. The new technology Bentley's team developed relies on redox mediators, which these small molecules carry out cellular activities by accepting or giving up electrons through reduction or oxidation reactions. Because they can also exchange electrons with electrodes, thereby producing a current, redox mediators can bridge the gap between hardware and living tissue. In ongoing work, the team, which includes co-principal investigator Gregory F. Payne, Ph.D., is developing interfaces to enable this information exchange, opening the way for electronic control of cellular behavior, as well as cellular feedback that could operate electronics. In one project that we are reporting on at the meeting, we engineered cells to receive electronically generated information and transmit it as molecular cues, says Eric Van Arsdale, a graduate student in Bentley's lab at the University of Maryland, who is presenting the latest results at the METI. The cells were designed to detect and respond to hydrogen peroxide. When placed near a charged electrode that generated this redox mediator, the cells produced a corresponding amount of a quorum sensing molecule that bacteria use to signal to each other and modulate behavior by altering gene expression. In another recent project, the team engineered two types of cells to receive molecular information from the pathogenic bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa and convert it into an electronic signal for diagnostic and other applications. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you new tech videos. Thank you.